What's going on everybody? This is Kyle Vinnick, and we're gonna get into two accessories that I currently own for the Nintendo Switch. Now, I don't normally hunt for accessories for game consoles, but because of the portability of the Nintendo Switch, there could be a lot of fumbling around when you're switching between gaming modes. So the first accessory I'm gonna talk about is a Joy-Con grip by Surge. Before we get a grip of this, I'm gonna just say that everyone with a Nintendo Switch should have this. Just by looking at the Joy-Con controllers, you already know it's gonna feel awkward holding these controllers. So what these Joy-Con grips do is give protection for your Joy-Cons and provide comfort for your hands, especially for those extended gaming sessions. So taking a look around the grips, you have access to all the buttons that are on the Joy-Cons. One thing to note is that each grip is specifically designed for each Joy-Con. And the best way to know which one goes to which is to align the light indicator on the Joy-Cons onto the top port of the grips. So when you have the alignment verified, you can insert the Joy-Cons from the top and then insert it from the bottom. And to make you more secure, you got that frame to keep it all tucked in. Now this frame is a little on the flimsy side. I accidentally detached it one time, but the good thing is that it's easy to put it back in place. And then when you want to remove your Joy-Con, you just, you just pop up the frame and then you push up the Joy-Con from the hole in the back. I forgot to mention this before, but there are actually two straps that are already included with the Nintendo Switch. Now it does give you better grip without the straps, but, but it's not on the same level as these Joy-Con grips. Because of the curves on these grips, fit better in the hand, feels better in the hand, and it makes it for a better gaming experience. Also, what's included are two rubber grips for the thumbsticks. Overall, I've been having a ball with these grips. <laughs> I don't really play that much Nintendo Switch anyway, but it's still good to have. Now that brings me to my second accessory. Now this is the travel case by Conker. Now this case is able to fit everything of the Nintendo Switch and a little bit of accessories too. Now the actual case, there's nothing to get excited about, you know, it's a hard exterior, soft interior, and you got a mesh pocket to protect your console. Now what's really handy is that you have pockets for your game cards. Before purchasing a case, I didn't really think about pockets for my game cards, but it's really cool that this one includes it. Right now I only have two and I don't even see myself having at least five. <laughs> But with this many pockets for game cards, this is a good all-around case. Now, as you can see, I'm going to fit my Nintendo Switch with the Joy-Cons on in the pocket. And all my slots here can fit my dock, my AC adapter, and even my Joy-Con grips. And then when you zip it up, you'll find the convenience of a hand strap. If you want to throw in more items in the case, you can actually remove the foam inside and start playing Tetris. But yeah, this case is pretty huge. So I recommend removing the foam out of the case to allow more space. Since this is a travel case, it could be a lot to carry. If you're planning on bringing this somewhere and staying overnight, you gotta be wise with what you put in the case because the actual case takes up a lot of space. Like, there's a huge bulk difference when I have the whole case in an 18 inch backpack compared to simply putting all of my Nintendo Switch equipment in my backpack without a case on. But I guess protection is what you sacrifice when you wanna save some space. Anyways, those two accessories are what I've been rocking with for my Nintendo Switch. Honestly, the only accessory that I lost interest to is a travel case. And that's only because I usually grab my backpack when I'm out anyway. So inserting all of the Nintendo Switch equipment without a case on in my backpack, it's not a really big deal to me. Especially since I'm usually not all that active with a backpack on. Anyways, that's gonna do it for me. As always, comment down below. Let me know what you think about the video. And make sure you're subscribed for the latest.